Hello, everyone. My name is Eli Spitz. I'm VP of Business Development at Rasley Security. And today we're going to be talking about support in the iSecurity suite of products for Syslog in order to integrate with all SIEM solutions. First of all, a fact. Multi-platform environments are indeed increasingly the norm worldwide. We see this all over. Companies want to integrate security-related events from the IBMI and from other platforms as well into their SIEM uh, solution. So the goal, therefore, is to consolidate relevant event information from these multiple environments. And the security inv event information itself should be both related to the infrastructure as well as to applications. And indeed, this is something that uh, Rasli can provide on the IBM I. In other words, in order to uh, integrate security event information from aspects of the IBM I itself, user profiles, the use of objects, of files, uh, authorities, jobs, etc., infrastructure, as well as from applications when field level data changes. Syslog is indeed the most widely used protocol for sending such alert messages in real time to SIEM solutions. And again, all of the iSecurity products do indeed interface with SIEM solutions. Uh, this is a, an almost complete list of our business partners, as you can see. Uh, for example, IBM, QRadar, McAfee, which is a one of the companies in the Intel group, Imperva, with which we have an OEM agreement, uh, and other companies, as you see here, other products with which we integrate. This is a slide showing all of the iSecurity solutions. As you can see here, we have a very uh, comprehensive suite of solutions, and the products on this screen in other words, the bullets with an asterisk signify that Syslog is not relevant for these solutions. But for all the others, without the asterisks, we do indeed integrate with SIEM solutions. Again, a typical Syslog environment, starting from the bottom, we've discussed this, different platforms. We can optionally filter uh, events coming from the IBMI and send them to the various SIEM solutions. Uh, looking at it another way, looking at it from, again from the bottom of this slide, Q Audit Journal, the system journal from our audit product, network security alerts from our firewall product, critical OS messages, database field level changes from AP Journal as well as authority changes. For example, uh, can all send real-time alerts via our action solution. As we see on the top, we can write not only to syslog, but we can also generate SNMP trap alerts. We can uh, use the JSON protocol, which is in use by McAfee as well. And so we can send the real-time alerts, as we see here, not only uh, to syslog, etc., but also we can also send uh, email messages, execute command language scripts right to the message queue and send uh, smartphone text messages, Twitter messages even as alerts. So what are some of the features in our syslog support? Well, number one, we can send security event alerts simultaneously to up to three different SIEM solutions. This is uh, unique in the market to the best of my knowledge. Again, we can send security event information which originate both from the system's infrastructure as well as from business critical applications. In the latter case, not only field level writes and updates, but also unauthorized read accesses to sensitive data, which of course is a security breach, can be uh, sent to uh, a SIEM solution. We have single keyword support for Leaf, QRadar, and for Ceph, ArcSight. These are different. These are two different standards, which are also supported by other SIEM solutions as well. Uh, the last bullet here, we support uh, different types of protocols, UDP, TCP, encrypted TLS as well. And as I mentioned earlier, SNMP alerts and JSON 
are supported. Our solution includes advanced filtering capabilities so that we can cut down as much as possible the um, amount of traffic that we generate from our agent to the SIEM solution. We have a super fast implementation which enables us to send extremely high volumes of data, of information, of alerts uh, to the SIEM. Uh, in addition to LEAF and CEPH messages, the, we allow the user to define actually the structure of the syslog message they're going to be sending to any particular SIEM solutions. And of course there are replacement val uh, variables so that in real time uh, the information from the particular event regarding the user profile name, the IP address, etc., all these are substituted in the message to be sent. Last but not least, and again I think this is unique, we have a syslog self-test capability. So we can uh, pre-test syslog messages and send them to a target IBMI server which is actually the same server from which we're sending the message. Uh, this has uh, proven itself to be very, very useful. Some success stories, we can send uh, one company, a large insurance company, sends all their field level data changes to a SIEM in which they uh, ensure that only authorized users whose user profile begins with PROD, PROD, and who also have change authority are the ones who changed, uh, for example, the interest rate by more than 0.2%. Uh, we have some numbers here about number of transactions per second that this company is sending. Uh, they've found that the one of the benefits is that it's much easier to manage the journal change file on a PC rather than on a IBMI. Uh, the reports are, which are produced by AP Journal are sent to corporate management, etc. And after after uh, sending the messages from AP Journal, they also uh, implemented support in audit and in firewall. A very large mortgage bank with whom we work monitor all uh, firewall network access, access rejects, sending only this information to their SIEM. They also uh, send important event information which they have uh, decided on previously uh, from the Q-Audit Journal to their SIEM, which of course does forensic analysis on the firewall and audit information. And finally, a large national uh, airport authority does not use uh, syslog per se, they send SNMP alerts uh, to their SIM product. And for example, the bullet number, the second bullet, all definitions of new user profiles with high authorities or changes are sent as SNMP alerts. So these are just some examples of how our solutions are used. If we have a look at some of the screenshots, as you can see here, this is the uh, iSecurity base configuration screen on the top right. We can see that up to three SIEM servers are supported, and each option, 32, 33, 34, will delve down uh, into a screen such as uh, this one here, which is actually the main syslog control screen, a uh, higher level screen in which we can specify whether rules are, run, uh, rules are actually implemented before we send the SIEM solutions, etc. Whether JSON is supported. Uh, this is the lower level, these are the low, lower level definitions for each specific SIEM uh, product, one of three that we support. And you can see that the parameters are easily defined, the syslog type and the destination address, the message structure uh, is very, very flexible. And what we have written here on the message structure can actually be replaced by asterisk LEEF or asterisk CEF, just one simple keyword, in which case we will, um, you know, so, which is how we support, of course, QRadar and ArcSight. Uh, the next slide we'll be seeing how we can set the syslog handling per audit subtype. These, this is just one screen of many here. The audit type in this case is asterisk security. These are the entry types and subtypes. And for each one of the three seams, we can specify 
the severity level setting for the particular seam. I mentioned earlier the self-test capability. Uh, again, very, very, very useful in order to uh, perform problem determination because oftentimes it will happen that we think or the customer thinks they're sending the syslog message, but in fact it isn't being received at the other end. The self-test facility uh, can neutralize one of the factors and make the testing a lot easier. Uh, our GUI, the iSecurity GUI, also supports syslog definitions, as you see here. We saw this screen earlier, UDP, TCP, the IP address, facilities, the message structure, etc. All this is supported in the GUI as well. Uh, this is how we define syslog messages uh, in our action product. As you can see here, I, I mentioned earlier replacement variables. So user, this is the replacement variable name. We don't have to, we don't have to remember this because if we uh, press F7, we'll see the fields. We can just simply select any particular field, alert, on operation, read, write, whatever, to a certain library or file in a certain application, etc. The current price uh, is X and the previous price was Y for the particular order number. So again, this is what the uh, what the IBMI will send, this is the message it will send to the uh, receiving end. This is just an example of, uh, and it's, it's hard to read, so therefore I <clears throat> wrote down on the bottom, this is an example of Splunk accepting Ceph format. Uh, this is uh, another example in free, uh, using the free Kiwi syslog daemon. You can see here that syslog messages can be sent from multiple products, multiple systems, and multiple IP addresses. In red, we see authority on demand and firewall, which are sending the message from two different systems, S720 and S44, etc., and from you know, different, uh, different IP addresses. And uh, this example here shows uh, a more complicated message in which we say that the quantity is now more than 500 or the price changed by more than 2%. The previous quantity was 80. Currently it is 80 as well, but the previous price was almost 100 and now it's almost 200. So the price itself changed by about 100%, which of course is more than the 2% or 10% that we defined as a threshold. And therefore the Kiwi says like Devon uh, received this alert. If we summarize then, the syslog facility in iSecurity is very easy to define, easy to use, and easy to implement. It's fully parameterized, and as I mentioned, we include event-specific variable substitution. Uh, the integration with nearly all SIEM products has been proven, including the native support for QRadar and ArcSight. Unique a uh, unique feature is that we can send messages to up to three SIEM products simultaneously, supporting UDP, TCP, TLS, the self-test facility that I mentioned, and the success stories of which there are more that we can uh, that we can share with you. Thank you for your time. If you have any questions or comments, please contact us at marketing at resley.com. Thank you.